Hi friends, how's it going today? Today we are going to learn how to make a new action inside of your actions palette here. Um, if you would like a copy of my actions, you can reach out to me at Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. I'll gladly send those over to you along with the tool presets that match those. Um, or maybe you've already done that or you have your own and you want to learn how to add a new action to your list. So let's learn that today. It's super easy. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is this is our button mode. It looks all nice and pretty with the colors all sorted. We're just going to go up here to the top right and click these four little lines and take it out of button mode. So now we're kind of like seeing the behind the scenes um, of these actions and kind of you can look in here and see what they do and how they function. And from this menu here, we can go ahead and click the plus button and we're going to make a new vibrance layer action. So we're just going to click plus. It wants a name, so I'm going to use my caps locks because my titles are all in caps and I want it to match. Say V I B R A N C Vibrance Adjustment. There we go. Okay, so this is the only set of actions I have loaded. And then if we wanted to add a function key, like save proof as is is F9, flatten is F8. We can do that. Um, I'm going to say F6 and shift. And then the color, I just want it to match what I kind of have for my saturation slider and things like that. So I know that that's going to be yellow. Now, when I click record, it's going to give me a little error message. So let's click record. And um, basically, shift F6 currently is the shortcut for the feather command. I didn't know that. Um, so it's no big deal for me to lose that that command shortcut. So now shift F6 is going to mean vibrance layer. It no longer means feather. So if that's okay with me, I'll say okay. And then now from this point on, we have a little record button on anything that we do or click or say within Photoshop, it's going to record that motion and then, or record that action and then replay it when you click your action to play. So we want to make sure we do only the things we want to do within the action. So we're just going to go up here to layer, new adjustment layer, and vibrance. Now if we wanted to change the, the layer name or make it a color or change the mode, opacity, any of that for every single time you use this action, now would be the time to do that. I don't want to do any of that, so I'm just going to say OK. And then there we have it, we have our layer. And then I wanna make sure that I've selected my 50% brush because I might wanna go in after I adjust the vibrance and use the 50% brush to brush it back in. And that's it. I'm just gonna hit the stop button. Very good. So now I'm no longer recording and now I just wanna make sure that it works. So I'm gonna throw that away or I can go up to my history and just kinda of go back to the original. I'm going to go out of button mode up here, top right, click, or I'm going to go back into button mode and let's click this and boom, we have a vibrance layer. We can just the vibrance, the saturation, and I see that my 50% brush is picked so I can go back in and take some of that off of them before, after, that's kind of extreme, but I wanted you to be able to see it. Um, so we also see this is down here. We would like it to be up here. So let's just go back to our button mode. I'm gonna click that little carrot to make it small. And I'm just gonna grab it and drag it up here with saturation. We'll go back to button mode. Now I like that. You can also see our keyboard shortcut right there, Shift F6. Let's give that a try. So go back to the original and I'll click Shift F6. There we go. Worked perfect. And then the last thing that we need to do is save our actions. And this is a little weird. So we went back to not button mode. And if you click up here again, save actions is grayed out and you're like what the heck i just want to save them you have to actually click on the name of the actions up here and then you can click save actions so i will go ahead 
and save these. I do want to replace that. Say yes, and we're good to go. So guys, that is how you make an action in Photoshop 2021. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.